Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We got five days a week. We got seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Nothing like having four days off, man. <laughs> Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 498. NASDAQ's off 177. S&Ps are off 65. That's a downdraft inside the NASDAQ of 1.5%, 1.4 in the S&P and Dow Industrials. Gold, gold contract down $14.70, trading at 17.54 an ounce. We have silver down 52 cents, 21 dollars, 8 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 71 cents, 76 dollars, 98 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note down two ticks, trading 112.31. The 30 year off, off five at 127.14 in King Dollar. King Dollar's on the move top side, up 737 ticks, 106,696. The euro is at 103. The yen is at 138, and the British pound is at 119 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we get a pullback. This is kind of like a classic, man. So we'll see where this goes. You have, you know, you, you, we basically went up, you know, Thanksgiving week, no volume whatsoever. Just get, you gave all three days back like in a heartbeat. Okay, six hours. That being said, though, you only, you only have 39 million shares traded. So my take is that we are going to go to the lowest swing. My lowest swing, 390. So we'll see what happens as we come down there. If we have the if we have the volume expand tomorrow, that means that gap is going to go after the gap. The gap is 381, and right now you're 395. Uh, what the SPY has not done it's got inside the lower range. The lower range starts at 390 inside of the SPY, 390.39. Now, and the NQs have already got inside this lower range. So the NQs are leading the market down. Bottom line, the NQs also have volume. No, nah, they don't have volume. 28 million is nothing. You're going against 41. So we're gonna, that's light volume. But what you, what you do have, you get the swing point that's laying out here at 280, 72. The lower range starts at 284. So we're down four and a half dollars. You can see we're in the lower range. Now, what that sets up, that sets up that gap is wide open at 268.56. So that is going to have some highly volatile trading. And my take is right here it's the good old King Dollar. King Dollar, bottom line, has been messing around with this bottom. You know, I mean, we went straight down. Picture this. I mean, you went straight down from 114, getting down to the 105, right? We were at 114 on September 28th, okay? So when you do something like that, it's like, okay, this, this wants to bounce. And if we do a, just a 0.382 of the last leg, I'm not taking the whole deal, just the last leg, that gives you a 108.279 approximately. So my take is that we're going to get to at least that level. And we'll see how, bottom line, the reaction is between this, between the note and bonds, and the market itself. Now, I'll bring up the 10-year right now. We take a look at the 10-year. The 10-year right now is trading flat, down two ticks, no big deal. Um, you know, you get a sideways move. Let's see. Yeah, this is what you didn't want the 10-year to do if you thought that rates were actually going to go down. Yeah, this is not good. Okay. So, what you did here is that you... you got over the last highs the last week, week and a half. The volume is drying up beyond belief. Um, let me see the 30, let me, TY1, let me see this, TYA. Make sure I, yeah, that's the, that's, I'm on the active contract, yeah. So that's saying that, hey, um, you know, this bottom line is notes and bonds wanna pull back also. If you get notes and bonds pulling back, uh, bottom line, that means that lower price, higher yield. Higher yield means higher dollar. Higher dollar means lower market. Now, let's get in the gold market. Because if you're in that gold market, folks, make sure you get your stops in. Because my take is that the way that we went up, it was this is really tricky, too. And what's tricky about it is this. Is that you had, like if we take the GDX, right? 
it almost looks like that's an ABC up, but it, the way that I do it inside timing the trade, that it's not. And this is why. Let me show you why. Because when I was doing the gold report this morning, there was three or four of these. There's actually three or four gold equities that are ABC struck size up, but there's a lot of them that look like it, but they're not. And the reason is this. See, if we look at the GDX, you had a high that was established at $28.31, right? Then you got a higher high, and that higher high, but they're all around the same. That's my point. That higher high is 28.49. Now, we had 29 million shares there. Well, the first one, which is right next to it, had 46 million. You took the B point out, and we did take it out with 34 million. But the bottom line is that you got to go with the first one at 46. Can't take the second one out here with 29. You can, but I just don't if you want to stay conservative in the aspect of an A to B equals C to D. Because that, to me, is not taking the B point out with volume because of the fact the B point is so close to these other points. And you'll see a, a lot of them. So that being said, my take is that if we take a look at the, the GDX here, you can see you're going after the, the little swing. You get an expansion of volume. And, you know, this GDX can get down to like 26.11. And right now you're at 27.28. We're going to have a pullback because we stayed up there too long without volume you know they had a nice run up when the dollar was going down it's it, some of these stocks if you had them you know they're 35 40 percent up you don't go 35 40 percent up without pulling back another 20 percent so that's where we are my take inside of that metal market right now and if we take a look at the actual metal we pull up the, the gold contract you know the contract right now we're trading so you're down 14 bucks it's not bad that's that. What number is that? Yeah, see, this is what's going to be tricky here. This wants to get back inside this lower range. If it gets back inside the lower range, which is 1751, that means it's going to go and test the strength. The strength would be 1720, and right now you're at 1754. Not the end of the world, but, you know, just pay attention to it. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials are down 513. NASDAQ's off 192. S&P's off 69. We'll come right back, folks.